Hey guys, and how about we play Pokemon Omega Ruby version? So, um, first, I am playing on my 3DS, because some of you were curious. It hooks to the computer, and it shows on the computer, so yes. Um, two things really quick. I trained a little bit off-camera. All of my Pokemon are level 49 now, and I just, I caught a Metacham, or Metacam, however you say that, so I wanted to read the Dex info, because I, I always do. It is said that through meditation, Metacham heightens energy inside its body and sharpens its sixth sense. This Pokemon heights its presence by merging itself with fields and mountains. Merging itself? Like, physically? That's pretty boss. Okay, well, there was another thing I noticed on my way inside this building. I don't know what this- I have an idea what this is from a comment, but let's see. Yeah, Mewtwo Knight? Why? That is indeed what I thought it would be. I didn't know about the whole why bit, because I actually forgot that he had two different forms. And I don't know which form that is, but hey! Awesome! We totally have that now. And just in case you guys want to see, here are the Pokémon right now. I have a little sap out in front because I figured that the first one is usually like a fighting or a rock type or something like that. From my limited memory. I didn't think too hard about it, but I'm setting little sap out first. If it ends up being a poor decision, then hey, I'll know. Only trainers who have collected all eight gym badges may go beyond this point. Please permit us to evaluate your worthiness, trainer. Oh, they, I, they did that fast. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Alright, I'll do that. Or am I gonna get checked every so often? You heard doors closing. <gasps> Not doors! Those are scary! This place seems to be on fire. Or, 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 or on sand. <laughs> I can't tell at this point. Not creepy at all. Alright. Fourth we shall go! I guess this was just a bridge to reach the first Elite Four member. Oh. Hey sir, what type are you? <laughs> It'd just be good to know. You look like a fire dude. You know, what with what with the, the ashes outside and his hair and stuff. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. Thanks! I'm Riz. I am actually then going to switch out for Blue Pikachu, and again, if this is a mistake, that's alright. I'll know to correct it, and I can switch out fairly quickly. So, go! Here it is, the first fight! I like that you look left you're giving me. I guess it'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, let's get down to the kind of battle that can happen only here in the Pokemon League. It's like, where are we zooming in? On his chest, of course, his manly fire chest. Elite Four versus Sydney. That's kind of cool how they actually showed all four of the silhouettes. Wow, he looks crazy there. Okay, Mightyena. Perfect, Blue Pikachu, Fairy type against Dark type. Oh, also, wanted to point out, someone in the comments, actually a couple people by this point, have told me that Fairy is good against fighting. I was thinking it was the other way around, so thanks for clearing that up for me. My hat on straight, straight enough. And so, play rough. Another person also recommended that I raise all of my Pokemon to at least mid-50s before I take on the Elite Four. Frankly, I don't have time for that. Like, at least today I didn't. I had to do work, so, yeah, you know how that is. But hey, Mighty Anna went down with one hit, as expected. Good job, Blue Pikachu. Pats for you. And moving on to Shiftry. I'm just gonna keep Blue Pikachu out. Granted, Shiftry could do some damage, but I'm kind of just hoping that it won't do anything Grass-type right now. No, okay. Right now, I mean. Leaf Blade, that is that is grass type. That was bad. Oh well, you did well, buddy. The last time I went against a Shiftry, it used Hurricane, and so I guess that gave me the time I needed to, you know, to not have Blue Pikachu die. But now I've learned. So fly! Let's make this as safe as we can, right? Just deliver the most powerful attack I can right away. And sh oh, Shiftry's not down. I am surprised, genuinely so. Whoa! Okay, critical hit. That's reassuring. Oh, that works! Rocky Helmet, you came through for me, thank you! And Sharpedo. I will switch for Sharpedo. We'll let Chispa go out. And rest assured, as soon as this battle is done, I'm reviving Blue Pikachu and giving it like a hyper potion, you know. Blue Pikachu is gonna continue fighting with us. Just, we had a bit of an accident, that's all. 
Oh, Sharpedo looks kind of vicious in this game. Take it out on one hit, maybe? Yes, yes it did. Good. So far, this is looking all right to me. I think we can pull this off. And an Absol. Which is a... Is that a dark type or is it a normal type? Either way, fighting should be good against it. That's my logic, so I'm gonna send out Little Sap here. We'll give a good old Sky Uppercut, because I'm pretty sure Little Sap is faster than Absol. If not, whoa, oh well. Level 52. That's actually kind of high. Sky Uppercut, go! Yes, I was faster. Was I strong enough? Yes, I was strong enough. I don't know if Mark Punch would have been. So, hey, glad I chose that one. And Cacturn. Dark, Grass, hmm. 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 I don't know if it has any ability. I'll just... I think that'll just keep Little Sap out for now, and we'll use another Sky Uppercut for the dark aspect of Cacturn here. I mean, I could have just sent out um, Buck 2 for the fire bit, but eh. Oh no, not with spikes! Ow, that hurt! Does that, that doesn't last forever, does it? Okay, good, it's just that one turn. Awesome. And Cacturn's down. I think it would have had the same, about the same effect then had I sent out Buck. Just would have taken Buck a little damage and whatnot. Well, how do you like that? I lost! Eh, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. 16,000 for winning. How you get money then is you take on the Elite Four using an amulet coin or luck and sense. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go a long way. Go on to the next room and challenge your next battle. Thanks, Sydney. I'll do that. Because I'm Riz, master of all trainers. Oh, it smells quite nice in this room. Right, first things first, before I forget entirely, I'm going to heal Blue Pikachu. So, revive. It's right there. I actually found it going up. Good. Glad I did that. And I specifically bought more Hyper Potions so that I could... I didn't buy a ton, but more so that I could actually heal pretty liberally. So I'll be sure to get them fully. Little Sap only has a little bit of damage. I don't want to... Well, I could heal. I have enough Orin Berries. I could just be like, here, have two of them. And now you are perfect. Good. Moving on to... Is this Ghost? Or Psychic? I'm gonna say Ghost at this point. I think Ghost seems pretty... pretty logical, an assumption. I don't know what's good against Ghost, to be perfectly honest. So what I typically do if I don't know what a weakness is... I send out my Fire-type! For some reason, Fire-type just seems to be naturally pretty powerful to me. Like, if I don't have a weakness and I know that the Pokemon is not, like, resistant to fire, Oftentimes, I'll just send that out, and the brute strength of it will be enough. Oh! Is she dancing? Is she... I don't know. I'll take her on anyway. She's just having a good time, why not? <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. Good for you, Phoebe! I'm Riz, of Little Root, I believe, is in this game. She's just dancing. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained there, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokémon. Oh. I know that was a thing that just happened. The bond I developed with my Pokémon is extremely tight. Come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokémon. Alright, challenge accepted, Phoebe of the Elite Four. She's so darn happy! <laughs> How can you possibly love anyone that happy? I'm just kidding, I love her already. Colorful flowers and everything! Alright, Dusclops. Let's hope then that the whole sending Buck out the fire type actually will work. I am going to. Just get over for a second. I am going to try something. Pressure? Oh no, don't exert your pressure. I forget what that means. I knew at one point, but hey. I'll try this. Oh! I think actually that it takes 2 PP for every attack, right? Maybe not. Also, I realized that I may have had a bad habit recently of saying, so hey. So just forgive me, <laughs> you'll try to get out of that. Is this enough? No. No, it's not. But you're dead now, right? Yes! Dusclops is indeed dead. Or fainted, knocked out, maimed. That's what we'll call it. You have been maimed, Dusc- Ah! Not my head! That's a giant nail! It pierced straight through my spinal column. Dang it, man, that was brutal. 
Hmm, I do, I do dislike curse. It's a big issue. So let's see what I can do here. Just gonna keep Blaze kicking it up. Oh, if you didn't notice, I removed Double Kick for the sake of Earthquake, because even though Double Kick was a fighting type, you know, Blaze against a fighting type, and Earthquake does not get a stab boost. Earthquake is just powerful, and I wanted one Pokemon who had it, and none of my other Pokemon could learn it, I don't think, so now Buck knows Earthquake. I mean, Double Kick was weak, you know? I checked for other fighting type moves, and I only had Rock Smash in my TMs, so I just didn't want to do it. Another banana, that should be one hit again. Blaze Kick, go! Also, I have plenty of Person Berries, I think it is. The ones, wait, no. Or is it Lepa Berries? Is that the PP one? Lepa Berries, I wanna say it's Lepa. I should have plenty of those, so I should be able to get back Blaze Kick and everything, um, should I so choose. Let's see, Sableye here. I will switch out at this point, because I don't want him to die. Um. Just to check, maybe Dark's good against Ghost? I know that Dark, Ghost, and Bug are good against Psychic. I don't remember what's good against all of those, though. Okay, particularly Ghost. I actually feel like Sableye didn't have a weakness until Fairy-type came out. Maybe that... Hmm. Well, we're gonna bite him anyway. Once we're not faked out, of course. Dang it, that's what I'm trying to do. I want you to flinch, Sableye! Flinch for me! Yay! Thank you, Sableye! I appreciate your cooperation! Now die! Ugh, dang it! Cooperation lost! At least I'm not dead. I feel rather confident here. I know that you're going to use a forest door! I knew it! I knew it! Because you're an Elite Four member and you always do this to screw with me! But I, if you notice, I used Crunch again, because that is the more powerful move. Two Crunches should do it. Should definitely do it. And I know that I attack first, so in your face, you just wasted an item. Or you could think that an item exchanged for one turn for me, but since I wasn't cursed or anything, that doesn't mean anything. Awesome, awesome. And Dust Noir. This is the one that I am not familiar with. Dust Clops with a Reaper Cloth or something, I believe. Um, I will try Bite again to see if Dark-type is in fact good against it, and if not, at least it'll have a chance to flinch. Super effective, definitely. Okay, good. So, and it did flinch! That's a double awesome thing! We're gonna try for Crunch now, in hopes that super effective is awesome, and maybe even a critical hit. Uh, not quite. But, I can live with this. LIVE! Thank you! Now, Bite him again- her again, sorry. Oh, I wasn't expecting another full storm. I'm only used to them using one each. Now I wish I had used Crunch twice in a row. <laughs> oh well. I'll use Bite again. Possibly flinch it. We'll see. Flinch. Dang it. Just all these different kinds of punches. Don't die! <gasps> Thank you, Fang. Crunch. Okay. Ah, should be the last Pokemon too. So after this, I just get to use a Hyper Potion on Fang and all will be back to normal. All will be good. In fact, all will be awesome. Yeah, there we go. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. Riz received 8,400... Wait... That's dub... Last time I earned double, but I didn't think I had anyone who still had Amulet Coin or Luck and Sense. Hmm. There's definitely a bond between you and your Pokémon too. I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. Ah, oh, thanks, Phoebe. You're such a gal. I love you in a totally platonic way. Oh, this one is definitely ice, I feel. Oh, but this is the one with Celio and Whalerin, huh? Dang it, that means there's gonna be plenty of water type too, which means that Buck wouldn't be fantastic here, but Little Sap could kick butt with Seed Bomb. I know what I'm doing. Dang it, but then there's the counter of ice type moves against Little Sap. So Seed Bomb is gonna have to work really quickly in order to take things out. Hmm. I think that'll start with Little Sap out, and then if I reach things like Whale Rincelio, no, not you, then I'll switch back to Buck. It's my plan right now. We'll see what happens. It's all kind of a guess. I mean, de I definitely. Third generation Ruby version? is where I played the most Elite Four, to the point where, um, you know, my Game Boy Advance and whatnot, I could beat it 
without looking. Like, I had sound cues, I had the sound playing, but I could beat it without looking. Um, and switching Pokemon, too, is a thing. It was fun. Because I... <laughs> that was where I made my team of dog-type Pokemon. It was, it was really awesome. Not, like, the best team ever, but it was, like, my team from a roleplay that I participated in, and it just made it... It was great. So, just to make sure, I do have a little sub out, right? Okay. And I have Buck next. Buck is ready. I didn't use any berries yet to get Blaze Kick up, because I don't think I need to yet, but eh. Welcome. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my Ice-type moves. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokémon. I hope it's not Glalie up first. I'm thinking it's Glalie. That's not good for Little Sap. I wonder what you will show me. What a relief it would be if I could, for once, have a serious battle against an opponent. <laughs> that was creepy. Also, she's cocky and I don't like her that much. I'm looking forward to taking her out. Glalie, I knew it! Just too late, though. It only occurred to me as she started speaking. Uh, then again, Glalie is ice type. This is a risk. Sky uppercut! Yes, I did that! Oh, good for me. Happy that worked out. Woo. And Frostlass. This is where I want to switch to Buck, I think. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I can't use a fighting type move because Frostlass was part ghost. So I'm gonna have to rely on fire here. I think that I will again use Mega Evolution to really seal the deal and just hope that it works. He got this, Buck! Total faith! Which might seem con like contrary to my whole hope thing, but... Oh no! Dang it, I hate that move! How is Frostlass faster than Buck? Okay, well good, thank you for hitting. And all the way down, yes! Score, we did that! Next we have... Oh, first, Buck to level 50! So here we have the stat changes, the new stat totals, and Brave Bird. Let's see what this one is. I don't know Brave Bird. It's a flying type move, which is weird considering Buck is bird, but not bird. You know what I mean? Brave Bird, let's see. Wow, is it a double attack? The user tucks in its wings and charges from a low altitude. Also damages the user quite a lot. Oh, that's why. Then, like, I don't even get a stat bonus. A stat bonus boost. I mixed the two words. It is really powerful, but I'm not going to do it. I like the moves that he has right now. So, no, and yes. What's up next? Yay, I'm faster! Good, because I really didn't think the Frost Sauce would go before me. Urgh, this is where it gets tricky. Um, I think I actually want to try a little sap for this one. I think the Whale is Water Ice type. So if I'm right... Fire would be kind of negated because of the water, and grass would be kind of negated because of the ice. But if I have Sky Uppercut, maybe. One hit, one hit, nope, not one hit. Ooh, good. Alright. I realize that you're gonna use a full restore, probably, but... Oh no! Awesome then! I got to save it... Good. I thought that wasn't gonna work. I got to save a Sky Uppercut for when I really needed it in the future at some unknown time. And with that, Little Sub grew to level 50! Ah, uh, yeah. So here we have the stat changes, the stat totals. Moving on. Wants to learn Dynamic Punch! Alright. Let's see what this is. Uh, ooh, 5 PP. Must be powerful then. Um, user punches the target with full concentrated power. This confuses the target if it hits. Accuracy 50! No! No! I don't care that much for confusion and power. I need accuracy. 50-50 chance does not work for me. Another frost ass. Alright, Buck, you know what to do! You're faster this time. Okay, you got this, bud. Let's kick this frost ass's behind with a blaze kick! Please hit- oh good, you hit, and now all the way dead. Maimed, I mean. Unconscious. Is that all? One more? I think one more. I assume another whale in. Oh, a Glalie? Really? Alright, I'll go with it. Why not? I mean... 
No, please kick again! No, don't do that, making me waste PP. I would use Flamethrower, but Buck is just so much better with attack than special attack. As powerful as Flamethrower is, I feel like it wouldn't knock it out necessarily on the first hit. And I want to be as careful as possible with the Elite Four here. More or less. I know I've put like Blue Pikachu at risk and whatnot, but that was a controlled risk. I knew what I was doing. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirits burn! Indeed. Again, 17,000. I must have someone with luck and sense. Either that or Phoebe was just cheap. You and your Pokemon. How fiercely your spirits burn, I say again. It must have been repeated. My icy moves pale in the face of such all-consuming flames. Advance to the next room. There you will learn how fearsome the Pokemon League can truly be. Alright. I'm ready to move on! So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to have a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, <laughs> tune in next time for my next video. Until then, take care. Kill outro, go!